Hello everyone. Well, before we get at the, uh, the video on hand, I got to uh, tell you a little story. When we did the uh, one of the videos on Bob Kellen's BX, I happened to tell a story about the first tractor we ever had, and it was back in about uh, 1987. And I had purchased this old Massey Ferguson diesel tractor with a Perkins diesel in it, and oh boy, it was in terrible, terrible rough shape. Anyway, never had a lot of tools back then. I had one Lincoln Tombstone welder, it was an AC welder, a couple of grinders, I guess, a lot of vice grips, a lot of sledgehammers. <laughs> Kathy is behind the camera here, laughing. <laughs> Anyway, never had a big fancy shop, never had, of course I don't have a big fancy shop now, so what am I saying? What are you talking about? Really. But anyway, just had the shop there on the house, and basically a one bay garage with a, with a pit in it. Anyway, I literally dragged this Massey Ferguson home. It hadn't been running in 25 years, it was right up to its axles in mud. And I'm going to tell you something guys, Kathy was not happy when she saw this thing. It was pretty rough. Even the local guys around here said, man, you must be crazy to buy this thing. But anyway, I think I paid $2,000 for it. I know. People thought you were nuts for what you paid. Yep. Anyway, I was working uh, for a Honda powerhouse at the time. I was a technician. I was doing generators, outboard motors, motorcycles. Well, at the time, there was no quads. It was three-wheelers. Uh, you know, the was big red was the big, the big red. The Honda Big Red was the, the big seller back then. And anyway, uh, <clears throat> I was quite well known in the area for that type of work. And uh, anyway, so I just started taking this old tractor and I stripped it right down. I split it in three or four pieces and worked my butt off. And uh, well, uh, in about six months, when the thing went back together and I opened the shop doors, everybody wanted to buy it. I know. People were coming in saying, you know, would you sell me that tractor? And I said, no, 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 I'm not going to sell the tractor. So anyway, we dug up some uh, pictures today of the tractor because there was a couple of viewers that had asked, say, said, Paul, do you think you could show us some pictures of the Massey Ferguson? So they're on this little card here now that I'm going to upload. And uh, I'm going to show the pictures before we get to the actual video. And yes, this is my command center, just in case fellas often wondered, you know, well, what does he use for equipment? Well, I got this big fancy mic, and I have a laptop, and I have all the software in there, and all I need is the know-how. <laughs> <laughs> you got that. And I need that camera, because there's a 100 gigabyte hard drive on that camera, and that's what I'm waiting to plug into, so I can upload all the video, then I have to go in and dissect it, and fit it all together, and and hopefully make something that people will enjoy seeing. So the video following the pictures are going to be on our uh, part two of our uh, restoration up, our land enhancement. Down in the back we, we finally finished it today. So uh, that's what the video will be about. So I hope you enjoy the uh, pictures of our Massey. I'm sure when you see the very first couple of pictures you're going to say Yep, something is wrong with Paul to buy that. <laughs> but anyway, incidentally, I kept the tractor for about a year. Yeah. And uh, snow plowed with it. Maybe. I snow plowed with it. I built this. The bucket that you see on it is one that I built yeah. uh, for the tractor. And I, honest to God, don't even remember building it. No. You did it all yourself to everything. Everything. Russell. I mean, it's, this yeah. is a. Guys, this is an industrial tractor. It was meant to have a backhoe on the back of it. And, uh, of course, when I bought it, it never had the backhoe. It had a steel seat, I remember that. And uh, it never had a cab. It was open station. And I'm telling you, but, you know, I sit in the, the uh, Kubota now, and I just love the Kubota. But, you know, I still got fond memories of that Massey. You know? True. It, was, it was really nice to have it. Of course, I went from shoveling the driveway with a scoop to a oh, Massey no, Ferguson. No, so, fabulous. you know, I mean, that was Appreciate that was like from a paper airplane to the space yeah, shuttle it was. for me. So, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you enjoy the video. 
Let's get going. Here you go, folks. This is the old Massey. What a beauty it was. Oh, the next picture is going to break your heart. Just look at it. Poor old thing. Anyway, I started to restore it. And as you can see, it didn't take long for it to start to take shape. Had a Perkins engine in it. Diesel. Nice machine. Boy, did the kids ever, ever enjoy being out in that thing. That's my uh, oldest son in the front, my youngest son in the back, and here's the one in the bucket. I hope you enjoyed the pictures, guys. Mm -hmm. Welcome to uh, Specialty Repairs video production. We're down here in the back of the property again, looking at the little birds, the squirrels, and everything eating the, uh, the feed or the seed. Somebody asked today what kind of seed do we feed them? Well, we feed them sunflower seeds. Man, do they ever love them. Anyway, here's what we're going to do next. I'm going to scrape up that red stone that you see here and you see right there there's a, a white spot right there well that's where water hangs up so I'm gonna build that up a little bit and I'm going to uh, use that stuff that you see over there that I was spreading yesterday and that's gonna compact really good so I'm gonna scrape up that red stone first gonna set that stuff down and compact it then I'm going to spread the red stuff over it again, and then I'm going to uh, finish up that job where the 5740 is to. So, I think the boss is coming. The viewers are going to have to wait because I'm still on coffee break. You're always on friggin' coffee break. I got to get a union job like you got. <laughs> oh, no, they're hard to come by. I should say they are. So, anyway, folks, I'm going to get the 50 cent or the. Uh, DX25D out, I'm going to start scraping. And Kathy, I think, will, uh, when she finishes her coffee, she's going to do some videotaping.
Is you getting all right? <laughs> Translation, how you doing? <laughs> as he says in Newfoundland, he's as hard as an hard as an hard talk. Hard as an hard talk. Hard as an hard talk. Oh, yeah. This is what Wednesday. So we weren't supposed to get our 16 ton of redstone till Thursday or Friday, right? Right. So yeah, so they called and they said, "Can we take it today?" Well, it's not a problem. So we moved the trailers and whatever we could to to get back at it. So we're just waiting for the truck to show up now. Probably get it to dump it right here in this area. Yeah, down here. Probably Yeah. And uh, then we'll do that. And uh, then we'll start spreading. We won't need very much because we're going to save about maybe 10 ton yeah. for a project we're doing next spring that we'll tell them about now shortly. Mm -hmm. Anyway, folks, yeah, our good. LED light is way up there. 20 feet. Anyway, I had it on a timer. So, you know, it's amazing. A few days ago, this was the edge of the bank. <laughs> I know. Right? And there was nothing behind it. There was it. nothing behind it. You know, we couldn't even walk out there, really. So anyway, the, the pole is kind of in a 
a weird place, but eh, it's not. You know, there's poles in the middle of parking lots. We're the only ones using it. But anyway, I had it on a, uh, I had it on a timer, and geez, every time the power would go out, I have to go down and reset the timer. Yep. And I mean that that 60 watt LED light, man, I'm gonna tell you, can that ever brighten up the place? Yeah, I'll give you a close up of it. There it is. There. Anyway, some guys are going to be uh, going to be mad with me because I'm off topic. I'm all over the place, but I mean, <laughs> yeah. I'm filming. How's this happening? I like to call it keeping it real. <laughs> anyway, it was on a timer. It was a pain in the butt. Every time the power would go out, it would uh, it would click out the light, and then in the middle of the night, you know, if you wanted to see the light, you had to come down and actually set it, reset it again. So anyway, what I did last night is I came down and I put a photo cell in the box now technically it's not right what i got done because it's supposed to be pointing true north and north is this way <laughs> really on the front of it but you know it just looks such a tidy way to do it so i put it inside the box here and wired it in it would have been ideal to have a, a box mounted here but when i put up the pole of course i didn't know that that photo cell even existed I didn't even know it was born yet. Well, how did it work last night? Yeah, and it worked perfect. As a matter of yeah. fact, it, it, it works better than the OEM, um, what do they call it? Sodium system we got up there. So I'm really happy with that. So it worked perfect last night. Just as it got dark, light came on. Just when we got up this morning, the light was off. So what else can you ask for? Now, we're going to fill you in on a future project. And the future project, we'll do the birds going. Future project. Well, I'm going to pause this. We're going to get up uh, and we'll show you something. Anyway, this is Kathy's Pond. I dug this by hand probably 15 years 15 ago. 15 years ago. Oh, yeah. Pick and shovel. Pick and shovel. Yeah. Took a terrible dislike into a pick and shovel since then. And anyway, there's actually, that, that's a plastic liner. And there's actually a another one up there that runs into this one so anyway we always had fish in it uh, but probably the last five years we haven't eh? so this spring we go out and we buy 20 fish and we put the 20 fish in and anyway the fishies must have been happy 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 <laughs> because they had babies 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 <laughs> Uh, and all we're seeing now is a lot of gold ones and a lot of little black ones going around. So we decided we're going to take all of this system out of it in the spring. This is, we're saying goodbye to this system. This is just going to be all grass here then. And we'll take it down and we'll show you the new location of the new pond. So we already got a start on this now so we were happy with this as it was but we have neighbors over there who aren't really the cleanest in the world and I'm really trying to be kind here and it's hard to be kind but anyway so what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean up a little bit of stuff behind our shed and we're going to come in and we're going to cut down all of these trees. There's probably 20 of them there. And guess what, guys? There's a friggin' rock. <laughs> so it looks like we may need some echo bust again. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, we know how to handle the rocks now. Right. So we're going to take out all of this bank here. Well, it's about three feet high. Mm -hmm. And we're going to take all the dirt. And of course, we'll just take all the dirt, dump it over the edge down there again. And this is where our pond is going to be. We're going to put in a rubber liner, and it's going to be a big pond, and it's going to be about six feet deep in places. And that way, when we put our fish out, we'll be able to leave them out all winter. We won't have to uh, home winter them. So this year, we're going to have to home winter them. We'll, we'll do another video on that. So that's going to be our, our project for the spring. There's going to be lots of commotive equipment used in this one. And... Uh, the 574 will be involved, the BX will be involved, and well, if need be, we'll end up having to get a uh, 
small excavator rent the small excavator and operate it and go to it over there then what we'll do is we'll take that uh, fence out of it and we'll put in a privacy fence so we don't have to look at the garbage next door and uh, so that's it now all we have to do today is wait for that truck to show up
Taking out with it. Oh, good. Oh, I, I got the weather strip put on now. Okay. I just put a bit of caulking there in the, in the corner. Okay. Now, the manufacturer never said anything about putting the weather stripping on it, but. No. But I said, ah, frig it now. Wow, well, looks good. And it makes it snug for sure. Yeah. Yeah, definitely better. I was thinking it should be better. Might be a little harder to open, but that that door is really corrugated. Okay. So you you needed that uh, that brush to go in there. You do, yeah. He's more uh, industrial than the other. Oh, he's a commercial before. one. That's why. What is it? Sixty dollars length or something? Sixty foot length or six oh, foot yes. six foot length? Yeah. So. I guess it's like everything else now in this life, you get what you pay for it. Eh? That's the truth. You know, or hopefully you get what you pay for. A lot of times now you're not even getting that. Yeah, it's true. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to get the DX out. I'm going to leave that stone there for now. Okay. And uh, I'm going to spread out that other stuff and then back drag it a bit. And that'll be it. Then we'll put the... Uh, trailers and everything back where they're supposed to be. Okay. And that project is finished for this year. The next year, next spring, we'll go at the pond, eh? Sounds How's that sound? Like, sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> say, sounds good to me. rocks down like I did for Bob. Yeah. But I'm afraid I'd have to sue myself if something happened. Seriously? <laughs> 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 oh, God. Yeah. Well, I don't want you suing yourself. No. You imagine? I losing everything everything you got? <laughs> we don't want to lose what I got. No. I don't want you losing what you got, not what I got. Well, as, you know, at the end, it always works out about 20%. <laughs> Yeah, you can lose your piece, not mine. Yeah. Yeah, big discussion online. Oh, yeah, about when you did the rocks for yeah. Bob? Really? Yeah. Well, we knew it was a touchy subject. I guess you did, you did mention that you were doing something yeah. that was what, sacrilegious? Sacrilegious. That's what you said. Yeah. I can say it, I can't spell it. <laughs> snow bucket and there's a great big heavy cutting edge on it and the cutting edge is really sharp and there's nothing worse than a cutting edge a sharp cutting edge when you try to grade oh yeah so yeah you just just uh, go in on the cutting edge and you can see it right on the you can see it where it's bolted on oh yeah and uh, man they are terrible when you put the bucket down it just wants to dive really yeah makes so that much a difference it's it's easier to grade with the 5740 but the only thing is that got teeth <laughs> so you can't get it smooth. They each got their problems. Yeah, a box blade would be better here. Yeah. But I mean, I can't justify a box blade because once this is done, I might never do it again. That's right. That's right. <laughs> there to the left that'll stay there for the winter 
and the uh, trailers are all parked they're all plugged in there's a battery tender on the truck a battery ten battery tender on the dump trailer and it's plugged in and that's the way it's going to remain now till next spring or unless I need the trailers or the truck beforehand but it worked out quite well or I think it has anyway now I'll be able to uh, go down and uh, pick up my implements there on the side without having to uh, move any uh, any of the trailers or the truck plus we have some more equipment coming and uh, it gives us more room to uh, park it so that's for another video guys so I hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching uh, enjoys your comments Kathy enjoys your comments as well and uh, we'll see you at the next video please subscribe if you haven't and uh, take care be good to each other and God bless